Hello everyone and welcome to Warrior Cats The Untold Tales and we are here with Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge who are busy raising a little litter of kittens together. A definitely a new experience for these two tomcats but they are doing a very good job so far. I mean after all Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit have all been fed and we have kept them alive and we have kept Thimbleweed alive and uh, all of that's um, very 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 good things and we're starting to make things a little bit more interesting with that thing that some of you love and some of you absolutely hate the random generators but I think you guys will be very interested to hear about the special random generator that my brain and the dice put together today and today's challenge is the fact that the kids are getting just old enough to really enjoy playing with these mice so we're going to have to go ahead and scatter the mice all throughout camp so let me go ahead and start picking them up all right we've got three mice but they're getting old enough that they're getting destructive and they like to play with mice and toss them around the camp and chase after them oh and look at that, I think Spot Ridge caught us a bird. Spot Ridge, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, he's contributing. He's helping out with the family here. That is fantastic. I, I have no idea, maybe patience is how he caught that bird. He has a very bad leg from the rock fall that he endured as a kit after all. Or I, I guess he was about an apprentice. I think he had just been made an apprentice. We've talked about that before. When poor Spot Ridge had his life as a warrior dashed before his eyes, or really I should say in his leg, but that's a little bit, that's a little bit morbid, Siri, oh my goodness. But, oh, oh no, I picked up the bird feather. I did not intend to pick up one of the kit's bird feathers. There we go. No, I just stuck it on Brave Kit. Oh, well. Camp is messy today, you guys. Camp is just getting super messy. But Thimbleweed is going to turn around and have found that the kits have thrown the mice all over camp today. So the mice are so torn up that we can't count those them as a food item. All right. However, we can put the mice down on top of a piece of moss next to brambles. So that's going to be something special that we do every time I roll either a double dice or a six. We have the opportunity to have a brand new cat show up in camp. And because of the nature of Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge's special challenge, any new cat that appears is going to be another abandoned kitten. Because one of you amazing people out there once upon a time left the idea for a story based around the fact that Spot Ridge and Thimbleweed end up taking care of abandoned kittens all the time. Like that just becomes their thing they do after hopefully they survive long enough to raise Hope Kit, Brave Kit, and Joy Kit and restore them to Wind Clan to rip down Courage Fur from his his place of corruption and be able to restore the three kits to where they belong and prevent Courage Fur from becoming a leader of a clan when clearly he can't follow the rules or at least I mean even if you're going to take a medicine cat as your mate you don't need to threaten poor kittens lives so I really love the idea that after we manage to get these three back in Wind Clan I think Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge will just be so happy like living on their own together living in this little forest glade they've put together that they're going to stay here and just continue raising up abandoned kits and maybe they'll even be able to take in uh, kits of like kitty pets who live in the area who want their children to hopefully transfer into the wild or maybe they'll just go out of their way to kind of help those who have been lost. They could become sort of like a a kit-centered uh, adoption center that sits on the edge of all of the clans. And I just thought that was a really fantastic idea. So hats off to the person who suggested that. And that is why every time I roll a six or I have a dice that has a dice inside of it, so a double die, and every time I roll it and it rolls a double die, then we have a special event where we get to see if we have any new kittens join our clan overnight. So that is why I'm able, well, I don't know if you could really call Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge a clan. Okay, join our family overnight overnight. So that is why we can scatter the mice out on top of the moss next to the brambles, which as you guys know is the way that you end up getting uh, new cats to join your clan. So we also have to eat our daily food and then I have to go do a lot of really rapid hunting. Oh, I just dropped all the food on the ground. No, Siri, no. All right, I've got to eat all of the food and then I need to rush around and do the daily hunting. Today, because of the special challenge, we can't catch any mice because the kits are just going to be busy tearing the mice up. But I need to catch at least four pieces of prey. Come on, Thimbleweed. Now things are getting really serious, actually, because I ended up chatting too long about our special challenge. Ah, uh, no, the, the little squirrel got away. But we need to catch at least four pieces of prey in order to feed our family. Uh, okay, maybe if I use the prey locator, I should probably start using it more often. <gasps> There's no prey here? That's what the prey locator said. Just sticks, just sticks in trouble. 
All right, let's keep looking. I need at least a couple more pieces. I need three more pieces. Oh, there's a bunny. Bunny counts for two pieces. And yes, all right. So bunnies, we have decided will count for two pieces because you know, a rabbit is usually a pretty good sized animal. And ooh, if I can get this one, then we'll have, <gasps> yes, all right. So we have actually met our quota for the day. That is a big relief. We can come over here and get a little bit of a drink really quickly. But yeah, so that's our challenge. No mice, all of the mice run off and the kits have torn up all of the mice that are still, oh yes, there's another bunny. The kits tear up all of the mice that are inside of the clan and we got another rabbit, that's an awesome thing. Uh, ooh, and there's a little bit of a bramble. We'll go ahead and snag that. So now we have enough food to see us through to the next day, pretty happy about that. We even get to go to sleep and see if new kittens show up. It's a very rare event, so don't worry if you're a little bit confused. Like, Siri, what on earth are you doing? All these challenges, all this, all, all this counting of prey and stuff like that. It's just to make things more interesting, but don't panic guys, because it's not going to be the most common thing in the world to be allowed to put out other bits of food and see if we have any new cats show up. Very excited about the rabbits though because that's two pieces of food per cat. Uh, and then let's see, we'll go ahead and tuck the squirrel down there. We'll curl up in bed and let's see if we have any new kittens show up in the morning. I'm a little excited. They would become... Ah, oh, dang it! No kittens! All right, now we have to clean it up because it was just like a one-time special event. And I'm gonna say that these mice uh, definitely were too chewed up to use as food. So, all right, it was fun. It was fun and I ended up spending more time explaining it than being able to actually just do it. But in the future, I'll just explain to you guys, hey, we had a, we had a double lucky day and we would get to see if there would be kits joining our clan. Um, like little ones we could find, we could say, oh, like if we had found say two kittens, we would be like, oh, they've been left out in the cold and we have taken them in and we're like Thimbleweed and Spot Ridge adoptive, adoptive cat agency. We'll have to come up with some sort of like just a, a nice family name. Oh, and that's right. We needed to gather up like two or three pieces of feathers per kit, but I won't worry too much about the numbers today. We just need to do a little bit of hunting, a little bit of searching, and we need to keep working because our kits are in the cold now, which is not a good thing. So we need to find lots and lots of feathers to be able to fill up our entire little camp with. Let's see, maybe I'll leave the bramble over here so we can start making a bit of a bush. And then we'll snag this feather. Actually, I remember seeing tons and tons of feathers up by Wind Clan. Look, there's a feather up there. Okay, we have to be super duper careful. And actually, I guess then we could go back over to his overlook and we could try collecting up some of the feathers that used to belong to his overlook because he would rather... Oh, there's Swiftly. Swiftly, what are you doing here? Trying to lure us back into, into clan lifestyle. We, we just can't do it, Swiftly. We just can't. All right, we'll wiggle over here. And we'll trade off, so we'll leave behind these fever few plants. And in exchange, we'll take these feathers because now these feathers are going to be used to be able to protect the kits from getting too cold. And it's kind of fitting that Thimbleweed would be the one coming to take away all of the feathers from Thimbleweed's leap. So we're gonna run over to our main camp now. I wish we had like some sort of, oh, there's tons of feathers. Just, what the heck? There's just, I forgot how many feathers there are. There's are so many feathers. We'll be able to keep the kits nice and warm. I am no longer worried. We can do a little bit of hunting and just bury the prey that we leave behind. Look at that. There's another feather. Yeah, it's going to be a very warm winter. I shouldn't have been worried. But yeah, again, I apologize if I rambled too long about like the challenge and being able to put the mice out, but I'm trying to come up with some really fun ways just to keep our untold tales stories quite interesting. The cats often provide a lot of that on their own just through the battles and the fact that untold tales cats have a very high death ratio compared to say our sims 3 warrior cats challenge uh so i would love to hear in fact i'm really actually quite desperate uh because i'm so excited about the ideas but i would love to hear how do you guys keep your untold tales stories really dynamic and really interesting for yourselves i love coming up with these little challenges i love writing down all sorts of ideas and then giving them like a dynamic mark and saying if I roll this number on my dice then that means this event is going to happen or giving myself oh, I cannot catch squirrels for the life of me today maybe you've got too many mouthfuls of feathers all right and let's put these over here so each kit gets three feathers a little hope kit got to keep you guys warm everybody has to stay warm because it's winter there's so many feathers the kits are probably like giggling to each other and playing and all of these feathers there you go hope kit another one for you there we go you know what? We should probably get Spot Ridge some feathers too. Let's go collect Spot Ridge some feathers. Uh, tons and tons of feathers up here after all. 
But I love, love, love trying to keep Untold Tales interesting for those of you who have been around since the very beginning and for those of you who are just coming on in. And I'm trying to keep things a little bit simpler from now on. So when I start rambling on and on and on about like, oh, we're doing this, then hopefully I'll just put the, the challenge in the video description or the challenge in the comments so you can keep up. Oh, and what's this? I forgot we buried something over here. There we go. It's a dead thrush. Oh, that's even better. Oh. And there's a mouse. Oh, that's right. We can't catch the mice today. Like the whole day. Run, little mouse, run. You're free. <laughs> can't catch the mice today because we're going to say that every mouse we bring into camp, the kits just tear apart because they're really, they're really feeling uh, a little bit trapped inside of the nursery. And so they're just a little bit more rambunctious than usual. But I would love to hear the challenges you guys enjoy and you keep yourselves entertained with so that I can start adding those into our challenge too. And let's get a little bit of a drink. Oh, what? I don't have anything to drink. Okay, let's come over here. There we go. And we'll get a little bit of this fresh moss. I imagine he's just drinking off of the snow. But I liked this today. Like I really loved the idea. I rolled a three and then I rolled another three because I have dice inside of a dice. So I knew because it was a double number that we would have a chance, possibility, not an absolute, but a possibility of maybe getting some new kittens added into our nursery. Uh, that they could have rescue and find. But also the three meant that the kittens would destroy something in camp and it would make one prey item unavailable to us for the day. And that is why we had the little, the little kerfuffle with the mice. There we go. All right, now we have Spot Ridge's feathers. We've got plenty of feathers for our own bed. So everybody gets feathers during the winter. Spot Ridge, maybe that's too many feathers. I can't even see you. Here, this works better. I should put the feathers behind them. Oh, that makes so much sense. Because then it actually looks like they're laying on the feathers. Much better. Much, much better. All right, we'll put one right over here. Yeah, that, that really works out a lot better. Okay, so we just have to kind of like step a little bit there. Nice and dainty. Poor Hope Kit. She's just buried under all these feathers. Doesn't even know what to do with herself. There we go. But yeah, today seems to be going nice and peaceful. I forgot to eat the prey, didn't I? It was nice and peaceful until I remembered I forgot to eat the prey. Okay, so we have to eat four pieces of prey or because we have bunnies. Bunnies are worth two pieces each. So one, two, three, four, five, five pieces of prey, I mean. All right, so let's say Spot Ridge and Hope Kit share this bunny and Brave Kit and Joy Kit share this bunny and then Thimbleweed eats this squirrel. So now all we have left is a dead thrush and a bunny. But I'm sure Thimbleweed will be able to do a little bit of hunting. But you know, we're really, we're playing it awful safe lately. So I was wondering you guys, what do you think about perhaps making it so we can only hunt in a certain territory every day? So maybe I should start rolling and then every single day, whatever we roll, we can only go hunting in that territory. So what do you guys think about that? Or maybe that's just one of the many things that could end up happening with our randomizers because I love untold tales and there really are so many fascinating little stories that pop out totally unexpected from what happens. I am still not quite over how adorable Acorn Kit or how shocking like Acorn Kit is just she's one of my favorites now and I'm still not over how shocking like even Rin Feather's death was. So you know I want to be able to continue that but I want to be able to keep it interesting for you guys. So please 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 I have my ears wide open. Anything that you guys can tell me for how to keep interesting what you do in your game to keep it interesting let me know I love it I just want to make sure I'm doing the things that you guys would love too and I think that means presenting a little bit more of a life and death threatening challenge at times and definitely means maybe like we should have a special role where if we roll a one for instance then one of the kits follows us around the whole day so we have to get our tasks of bringing food in and if we already have some food we can just spend the day wandering around camp and being able to tidy camp up and not worry about the kit's well-being but if we have to go get food and we rolled so that kit follows us all day long even if we kept trying to take it back to the nursery hmm then that would put the kit's life at risk and I don't want to put our cats in danger but you gotta admit drama and a little bit of excitement and challenges those are definitely the spice of life so let me know what you guys think and I'm going to let the movie curl up with Spot Ridge and the kittens and they'll be able to sleep their very first beautiful beautiful bare leaf day away no snow like there's snow on the ground but it must have been there when everybody woke up so the kids have no idea where it came from it's gonna be so exciting to imagine when they see their first snow oh, i'm very excited but all right guys i'll see you next time Bye bye